Reflex is a two-year project joining forces of partners from five European countries, members of the Euraxis network, in developing more inclusive and flexible approaches towards career development of researchers. The two videos we prepared should help you to better navigate through the project itself and its outcomes. In the first video, we guided you through the resources created within the project and showed you how you can use them in your work. The second video will provide you with brief instructions on how to work with the Reflex online application, which you can find when clicking first on the Reflex app in the left menu and then on Access the application. The Reflex Researcher Career Development Scheme application, or simply the Reflex app, is an online application developed to help research institutions researchers and professionals assisting researchers to facilitate the process of their career development. The tool is based on a model scheme developed in the Reflex project. The scheme identifies key areas of researchers' professional development and provides examples of activities that can be carried out to support researchers in all these aspects. The five key areas are career advice, academic skills and development, company and organizational interaction, mobility, and networking. The application can be used by institutions employing researchers or assisting them which want to develop a more systematic and strategic approach to the career development of researchers. It can also be used by researchers who want to take a more active approach to their careers and need a comprehensive yet simple framework to identify the key areas of their professional development. Last but not least, it can also be used by supervisors, career advisors and other professionals assisting career development of researchers who search for a tool, helping them to structure the advice and support they provide. So, how can you use the application? Let's imagine a university that has decided to introduce a strategy on career development of researchers. The first thing they should do is a mapping of their already existing services. The application will help them to focus not only on the key areas, but also on the specific services that can be provided in their framework. The scheme can be customized to respond to the needs of a given institution. First, we can add its name by clicking on the pen icon in the corner. Let's now focus on one area. Let's say mobility. The services already existing at the institution can be kept in the scheme and information can be added. So for example, if there are courses of cultural orientation at the institution, it can be mentioned in the submodule. Don't forget to save anything you write in there. And you can, of course, edit the content anytime. On the other hand, 
if we know that there is no dual career assistance available at the moment, but we find the idea interesting and might think about introducing it in the near future, we mark the module as tentative by clicking on the semi full star. Implementation of some activities might not be relevant or feasible in some contexts. Let's say there is no intention to introduce the mobility coaching, so we can remove this module by clicking on the empty star. And maybe we offer additional activities that were not covered by the original scheme. In such case, we can create a new module by clicking on the plus icon in the corner. Submodules can be displayed in several different ways. In a full mode, with comments only, or as a simple compact list. In the next step, you can save your scheme. When saving it for the first time, click on the Save button and save your scheme as a new one. The system will generate unique links and an ID number, which will enable you to access the scheme again. Please note down this information. When you modify an existing scheme, the application will offer you two saving options. If you choose the option Save Scheme, the updated version will be accessible through the original access link, generated when the first version of the scheme was saved. An earlier version of the scheme will be overwritten. If you choose the option Save as New Scheme, a new access link will be generated. Others will not be able to see the changes unless you share a new link to the updated version with them. An earlier version of the scheme will be preserved and accessible through the original access link. As you can see, the application offers the possibility to share the scheme in both an editable and a preview-only format. Use the link to the editable version to share the scheme with your collaborators. Anybody with this access can modify the scheme. This can be useful when, for example, people from several departments contribute to the final result. Use the preview only format to share the scheme with researchers or any other target group that should be informed about the availability of different services and activities. The services you deleted from the scheme are not visible in the preview only mode. If you want to have more information about how the application works, visit the project website. There you can also download the PDF guide.